What's up, y'all? Holy Gamby here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at RPG in a box. So I got a key for this a while back and some help from the developer and stuff. Finally getting a chance to get around and try this out. So basically it's to make your own game. Um, I have no experience with this at all, but we're just taking a look at it. I'm trying to spread the uh, word about it. So if you have any passion for trying to make a game or any, you know, feel like you really want to do it, uh, from what I can see, this is pretty, um, supposed to be pretty streamlined. So anybody like me can even figure it out. So we're going to test it out. I've never done anything with it yet. So I'm just going to jump into it. Okay. Going to create a new game. Um, let's call this game test for YouTube. Let's leave it wherever it decides to take it. So we can do a blank project, bare bones project, I guess. We'll just read these off. Blank project with no resources. Use this template if you want to create a game entirely from scratch. Bare minimum required. This includes one empty map, a player character, and a basic startup script. Example map. Name using the default RPG in a box assets. Kennedy one bit game. One bit pack. Um, we're just going to put it in, uh, sure. Just put it in, um, uh, desktop. We'll just call it RPG. All right. And we created it. All right. There we go. So, we're going to do bare bones. Let's see if we can just add houses and what we want with it. Okay, so we got a grass tile here. What happens if we do that? We're selecting parts of the grass. Okay. How do I deselect? Let's see. Let's see, I definitely want to probably put it back to green. Can't select the blue I've already touched. Let's see. There we go. Get that out of the way because we're not trying to do that. Maybe that's how we can make like some water. Select all this. Let's see if we can. We can copy that. Can we click on it again? No, we just have one. Okay. So like I said, I have no like knowledge of basically none of this but it's a really interesting and i wanted to spread the word for uh anyone out there trying to create something to make more grass Okay, let's put down Justin. Where are we going to put him at? Where are you, Justin? Okay, there's Justin. Is his name. So let's see, can we... Let's give him a... Uh, let's give him a purple. Let's give him a purple shirt. Can we do that? No, wait. Attach. There we go. Uh, 
Okay, we're not. We're not actually coloring him in. I'm not sure to color him in. We are making Justin bigger. He is going to have. Oh, that looks kind of cool, actually. It's like a purple cape. That actually turned out pretty cool. That's cool. Let's see if we can make that cape come down a little bit. That's cool. What is this? That's an attach point. Um, we have no objects. Okay. We're going to leave him the same. I'm going to apply a palette. Does that apply it? Okay. So there we go. Paint voxels. All right. Let's paint him not purple. And paint it white. There it is. Okay. So this is what it seems like. I mean, I'm. I'm figuring out how to do this so far. It seems pretty, pretty straightforward. There's a lot more into it, obviously, that people know what they're doing. They're going to be able to do so much more with it. Let's see. Let's give him these, like, cool blue pants. All right, Justin. Looking good. Can't forget that. Of course, I'm going to have to figure out how to get him actually onto the map, but for now, we're going to color him. See we do about right there. I don't know what we can actually attach to him. So that's gonna be something different. We can do new though. Get some black. Yeah, look at that. Got to give him the mullet. That's awesome. So this right here is fun to me. Making these characters like. Now we gotta give them some eyes. Oh, I guess they don't need to stick out of his head though. Then you go back to our palette. Let's see. Okay. How do I just go back? Yeah. His head needs to be like. Maybe one more. All right, I guess. Hang on. Like they don't match the eyes, so looks like Justin is actually. He looks crazy. Okay. 
Smooth the color is white. Then we can go to this. Give Justin a beard. Sort of. Kinda. <laughs> it's all right. Okay, so we have we have made Justin. Okay, so if I go, is Justin saved? So I want to make sure it saves Justin because I don't really know what's gonna go on. Now we just want to be able to put Justin into that world. Okay, he's saved. So if I go to the overworld, and then go to Justin. Oh, no, this is just more grass. Mm. What's going on? Okay. So we can make tile for him. Now we need to get Justin and duplicate. So we're going to add Justin to favorites. But how do we get Justin? How do we get him in a world? Place editor. So, what are we doing with that? Hmm. Quick play. So, what happens if we quick play? What is there? What is there to play? We're playing something. Oh, wow. Why does he go back and forth? Justin, what happened, dude? So he's moving up and down. So I guess we got to change, I'm guessing, the animation. Where when he's normally walking, he looks like this awesome dude. And not uh, the normal thing. Look how cool he looks, though. So we have put Justin on a map. All right. So we're going to quit. Go back. All right. So how do we build buildings now? Combat. Where's Justin? We gotta figure out how to get him looking good. We could turn his speed up or he's super fast. Okay, okay, here's some assets, okay. Okay, who is this? Okay, there's a lot in here. So if we go back to our overworld, then we can add, let's add this dude. Wait, did that say drag and drop? 
Oh, click and drag to rotate. Ultimate Warrior. And I want to take. I want to take Ultimate Warrior, which that looks awesome. He's got a shield and sword. It's him walking. Okay. So I think that was a problem with Justin. Animations. Where's this walking? So you have to go in and edit the walking animation, which there's you should be able to take this and just like copy everything. Let's see if we are able to, what was it, or wasn't it like attack or something? Idle? Okay, Idle Justin is our base model. Okay. Select voxels, okay. We're gonna select all of Justin. And then, like, is that copied? Then we want to, well, what are these? Different sprites. Okay. So we can replace all that color with that. No, that didn't work. So what is the copying? Okay, so we copied that. All right, now let's see if we can go back to walking, play. Select everything. Somehow. So. Just copy the feet. Maybe it knows. Maybe it just knows. Oh, it did it. Nice. So that's easy. That's nice. So that's what I was trying to think about this game. Is like it's pretty, pretty straightforward. With um, yes. Except that so we should be able to just do this arm. Pace, right? Or oh, we have to go back to his idle animation. Okay, he has more from the walking. Basically, just has a little bit more. So you could just go back in here and, you know, color this white. like that and then we get back our um skin color which i don't think that's the right one okay that's it colors arms and he's good to go so now so now if we play with justin oh, wait, wait, wait 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 we want to save right because we edited it. So let's see if we were able to. Go from Justin walking. Like a gray figure. To being able to walk with all of his color. Like I'm saying this is pretty. This is going to help a lot of people make some little games, indie games and stuff. Because it seems really straightforward. No, Justin, dude. So when he's walking, he's still going two different colors. 
Okay, this must not be walking. He's having a hard time with walking. He he doesn't even idle. Your inventory. Just constantly dancing. Okay. We're making progress. Let's see. Um so he walks. <laughs> just keeps going up okay so how do we change how do we get to what is going on Justin <laughs> that's what you do when you walk looks like the climb what about go back to walk? So now we want to take our copied copy. And we want to paste. So he's lost his hair. He's now bald. He's still like gray in some places. There we go. There you go, Justin. Paste it. What are you becoming? There's not all gray now, at least. I'm going to attempt. Well. Had a game crash. Okay. Let's try to launch it again. I'm not sure where. There you go. Okay. Justin. No. Let me see your walk. No. We weren't able to save it. Okay. I don't know why you can't select. There we go. Copy. Like everything, paste it. We're going to get him where he's not gray anymore. It's not all the way. Okay. Okay, Justin. Relax. So this is the character creation part. I mean, you can use, obviously, the base that they've made for you. It looks really simple to just... You just create a character from the blocks up. Making them... Alright, have we colored 
Justin. Well, he's not gray as he walks. No. Oh, wait. As he walks, he's fine. So his little gray feet a little bit. When he stands. What is this? There's something we're missing in idol. Coloring him. There it is. Okay, Justin. We want paste. There we go. Perfect. We've done it. So now that we've got that, I guess you don't really have to add characters or add characters to the map. But I'd like to figure out how to add the assets. Okay, Justin needs a truck. Let's import the truck. Okay, go back to overworld. Script editor. Nothing about that. We're not really going to touch that. Here's the map editor. There's so much going on. But it seems really not, I'm not going to say dumbed down, but made a lot easier. So if I want to do something with this truck, what animations does it have? I can add an animation. Let's say I want this truck to flip. Okay. Make it go really fast, like 20. I don't know. Okay. What do you do? Okay, that didn't work. Um, the truck attacks. Does nothing. Okay. And this is all me, by the way, not knowing anything that I'm doing. I just want to see the truck. Do we have to add a new script? Let's try truck. Okay, the truck. The truck says, I am dead. I'm not sure. Okay. How do I? How do I add the truck? Because this is a script. For the player. We got the overworld. I didn't know if you could just like set it down in there. Okay. Player override ultimate warriors in there. Fog. That's cool. You can add fog. Lightning presets. Hmm. 
Hmm. I want like Red Death when the truck comes in and Justin has to fight it. Justin is now a truck driver, but his semi has turned its back on him. And that's the game. Okay. Truck battle. Okay, player spawn. Drag and drop enemies. Okay, the truck is the enemy. No. So I'd have to make model. Okay. Okay, so you, I need to go back to characters. I got it. Hang on. Import. No. I need this. I need to go back. I need to change the, the truck from an object to a character. What if I just did the whole copy, right? I copied everything. Can I do that? What's it turn out to be this ridiculous looking thing? Okay. Copy that. Go to characters. Go to ultimate warrior. So he needs to be huge. Massive. And I need to paste this <laughs> truck. Hunt the ultimate warrior and just see what happens. Oh, it worked. Okay, so now, yes, thank you. Okay, now I need to get rid of. Ultimate Warrior and Delete. I should be able to just cut, right? Cut. Oh, wow. There goes his body. Okay. As long as we don't take away from our truck. <clears throat> so Justin's a truck driver with a mullet. He lived for his semi. Then one day, turned its back on him. And if I was really experienced with this game making, that's the game I would make. A mullet truck driving cowboy. Has to fight off his one love, his truck. Okay. Now we should be able to scale it. Oh, we can't scale it down. What about the height, though? Not the height to be down, though. There we go. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save that. We've made the truck the enemy, or we will. Make the truck the enemy. So, warrior human 
No, 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 no. Where's... Saving close resources. Oh. Anyway. Where was combat? Okay. Don't know. Equipment. Okay. Truck. Now it does work. Okay, he's the enemy. Turn based. Okay. Enemy spawns. Uh oh. Please note that the combat editor and relative function will change. Okay. Okay, we're going to save that scenario. And then we're going to play. I don't even know if this is going to work. But if it does, it's funny. Okay, the truck's not here. Unless they have to spin. Or, uh. Unless they have to spawn on a random tile. Or maybe we need to put it on a fixed tile. Also, Justin doesn't even have a weapon. Okay, maybe we need to make it on a fixed tile. Player spawn. All right. Okay. Okay. I want to see how this turns out. Because now if it spawns with the player group, if it would be in here. I'm not even sure if they're going to spawn at all. I just think it's funny to think of. Okay. What if we... So we could also, for the beginning of our story, we copy this, right? And then we go to, we go to Justin. And we... Stop it from doing that. We make all this huge, and then we just paste it in there. So now he just has a truck with him. So let's see what happens now that he has, has the truck with him. And I want to see how the truck follows him. Because it's going to be attached to his character, I'm guessing. I bet we could raise him up and put him on the truck like he drives it. This is a quick little video kind of showing you into the game. Um, I'm actually starting to get really interested in it. And I think it's hilarious to make just funny stuff. But that would be my game. It's like balding, skullet, truck driver who... Somehow his truck is like possessed and he just has to fight it. I don't even know what he fights it with, but it turns his back on him. Okay. Come on. We want to see if the truck's in the game. We just save. It is, we did it, it flashes, what, no, nope. oh, it's only if we stand still, because we have to put it in like walking animation and all that, but we did it, we put the truck in the game, that's awesome, so that's probably going to be it for the video, like I said, I really just want to show this off, because I think it's really cool, really awesome. 
really get you into like game making. I mean, I I know nothing about this, and I've I've done this much so far. I mean, it has pre-selected stuff, so there's a lot smarter people out there than me, and you guys are gonna make some crazy stuff with this. So, the link will be in the description. Again, it's called RPG in a Box on Steam. Go pick it up, check it out, make some games, make something, send it to me. I'd love to check it out, and. Thank you all for watching again. We'll see you in the next one.